Hey guys, this is Max and welcome to another episode of the story behind the shoot. Today's episode is about a personal project that I shot um, as one of my first attempts at a high fashion shoot completely done on black and white film. The inspiration for this particular shoot came from the location itself, the gravel pit that my friend Jules suggested we just take a look at, do some location scouting and maybe it works out. And back then we just go, got there for a photo walk basically taking along a Hasselblad 501cm um, with a 50mm just a gun shooting some black and white images, basically only one roll and already during the development process and then while scanning the images I realized okay this is a great location for such a high fashion shoot especially when you have a little bit more light available than we had back then and I'm showing you some images here right now from that original location scouting um, you see all sorts of machinery and conveyor belts and things like that that would also work great if you put some kind of model in front of it. And also, if you look at the background, you see that the horizon is kind of clean in most cases, so you can really work with that. So in this case, as you know, sometimes the, the inspiration comes from all sorts of angles. And um, in this case, it was really the location, not a particular dress or outfit or um, makeup or another image that you see and that inspires you for a photo set. As equipment, I chose my trusted Mamiya RZ67 again with the 110 millimeter Secker lens and in addition to that my new 250 millimeter portrait lens that I only used for a couple of shots but that I really enjoyed and that uh, brought about really great results that I will show you later on. In addition I had my Canon 30V um, with the 24 to 70 millimeter um, Canon L lens and uh, for film I used in both cameras, so both for medium format and for 35mm I used Ilford FP4, rated at ISO 100. And for metering I took it slow, so I brought along my handheld Gosson Starlight 2 and in most situations it's for medium format in all cases and even for the Canon in many cases I used the handheld meter to get my exposure correctly. So and as usually as I do, um, and most of you will as well, I metered for the shadows underneath the model's chin to get my exposure right. Uh, the model is a young aspiring model uh, by the name of Katrin Ines and she did a wonderful job. She came really well prepared and what was new to me is that she had researched a couple of high fashion poses that we could basically pick from on site. So we had a location picked out and then decided which uh, pose would fit to that location and she was kind of trying around. She also brought along all sorts of outfits which meant that we had um, several changes of the outfit and also location changes. So while the shoot took several hours, I really think at least uh, uh, three hours or so, I only shot five rolls of medium format film, so only 50 images and um, one roll of 35 millimeter film. So less than 90 images overall. And nevertheless, I'm really pleased with the results and how they turned out. So without further ado, I just wanna show you the behind the scenes footage and um, give you more impressions from the shoot on site.
So as you can tell from the behind the scenes footage, we were blessed by beautiful light on that particular evening. Um, it was even good that it took us so much time, the entire set shooting it and uh, the sun uh, kind of setting in the background. Uh, we increasingly got nice light. We have beautiful glows. We, we were able to play with the light, the model and I together. I really like how the background came out, um, especially the little sea that was part of the gravel pit and uh, the one portrait where you really see this gradient of the sea in the background and you have this kind of surreal feeling because it's an, an, a rather unnatural background here that was only possible because of that perspective from above um, and shooting down um, towards that gravel pit. And also how the conveyor belts and the machinery that was standing around really forms a nice hard contrast to her, the model's kind of softness and high fashion attitude that she brought about. So we do have um, some contrast in there and I really like that. And I personally think it beautifully fits the idea of a high fashion um, black and white shoot. As always, I'm also, also interested in your comments and suggestions, so please um, leave me a comment in the comment section below. I really appreciate it. Also, if you like this video, please remember to like it and maybe even share it with your friends. And if you want to see more videos like that, please feel free to subscribe to our channel. Jules and I get super excited about each and every subscriber um, coming our way. So thanks for watching. I hope to see you soon. Bye. <laughs>